guys, Fixed Media Girl here. So I got this cute little uh, glitter shamrock from the dollar store and I am going to pour over it. And I do have my spinner underneath here. And so once we've poured over it, I am gonna spin it out. So to start with, I'm gonna take some double-sided sticky tape and tape the canvas lightly down to the spinner. It doesn't take a lot. Just use probably two small pieces. And I do have a shower cap over the top of my spinner. That's to protect it. And there we go. Does not take a lot. And this way it just won't fly off. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna go ahead and fill our cup up. And I am using a split cup for this. This is a Mixed Media Girl um, double split three compartment 10 ounce cup which is pretty much perfect amount for this canvas size. This is a 12 by 12 canvas. So I'm gonna kind of go light to dark a little bit. And so I'm starting off with white. All the colors I'm using are mixed media girl pouring paints. Next, I'm going to use gold. And of course, you know, for St. Patty's Day, we've gotta do something, lots and lots of green. So this is a lime green, and I'm gonna to top it off with more white. Filling this pretty much all the way to the top here. In the next column, I'm gonna do some meadow green, some of the emerald green, which is a metallic, and I think we'll go ahead and put a little more white in here and top this one off with some gold. I don't want this overall to be very dark. And then in the last one here, we'll use some Everglade green, which is a nice dark green. And I'm gonna use some Chocolate Magic, a nice dark metallic brown. A little bit here as well. All right, I think we are ready. So I'm going to pour very slowly over this, as slowly as possible, and I'm just doing a straight pour. So I'm not gonna move it around, and this is going to take me a little while, so I will speed this part up. All right, there we go. My arm got so tired during that I was going too slow. So I'm gonna just take a toothpick on the foam here and just gently pick it up. And if this is really cool, you could use this for another project like a little garland or something like that. And now we spin. Before I spin, I'm gonna tilt just a slight bit this way um, if it's too much off center, the paint kind of all just flies off in one direction. So I'm just gonna help it out just a little bit. All right, I think that should be good. And here we go. I think that is gorgeous. I did lose pretty much all of my brown. Um, that can happen when you put a color in last, but I'm actually okay with that. I think this is kind of the perfect combination of all the colors to be perfectly honest. So let's let this sit here for just a little bit and then I'll bring you guys in for a close up. All right, so I think this is just gorgeous. We have some cells popping up over here in the emerald. The white made this amazing design over here. Um, I think we have pretty much just the right amount of gold coming up through here. And I just love the entire composition of this piece. I think it is amazing. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully you have a fun St. Patty's Day and I'll see you all next time.